won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bunny Says, and uh, we're back with another episode of Life is Strange. Now, I just came downstairs, and uh, that started up. And I wish he wouldn't. Uh, I feel I feel bad for this guy, David. It's like I said, he just he's just over the top. He's you know he wants to, he seems. His heart is in the right place, but he does things like to the extreme, like way too, way too extreme. You know, like I mean, think about it. Like putting surveillance cameras in your own house. There's, there's only, I mean, there's only like two reasons you do that. One is you're a mad pervert, or two, you're unbelievably paranoid. You know, and he's he's not a perv. He's paranoid, like. And he, he goes too serious, you know, like, and he wants cameras all over the school and stuff. I mean, he does, he, he does that because he, he really, I mean, he really seems to want people to be safe, but, and he seems like it's a, he thinks of it as like a battle all the time. It's always like, like, like he's always in a battle, you know. And that's the thing, it was, like, it's not a battle, he wasn't, she didn't win a battle from him, you know. But he, see, he sees it that way. And it's a shame, you know, he doesn't, uh, if he just, if he just, you know, if he just stays at the place for like maybe a couple, a week or something like that. They calm down and then maybe he'd come back and talk to his wife and... This doesn't have. It doesn't have to be permanent, you know. It doesn't have to be. It, it could be something good. David isn't you know, it, any it, different from me when he's looking at those family photos. I mean, he really does care about Chloe. That's one thing I know. He he, he cares about his wife and he cares about his family. You know. He really does care about her. I just think he has such a bad time communicating. I know, I just don't think he understands how to communicate properly. Looks like David already booked a room. And it just feels bad. It just it feels terrible because he, he's not like really like a really horrible person, you know. Poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Beached angels, I don't think they're alive. Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. That's... Ouch. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, ouch is right. David, do not be here when I get back from work. I mean it. J. Price. It's, jo it's Joyce. Oh, that's bad. She even wrote her last name. <laughs> like, yeah, she didn't just write, I mean it, Joyce. She put her name, <laughs> you know, her last name, J. Price. That's why she didn't start the message, you know, Mr. Madsen. Do not be here when I get back. That's... That's harsh. Somehow, I existed in this whole other reality. But I, I don't know what happened. The more I use my power, the more I see how little control I have over what happened. 
now Max Caulfield exists in two or um, maybe three different realities. How can I have his testimony? If these alternate lives exist, I hate the thought of William and Joyce finding Chloe like that. Thinking about all these lifelines almost makes my head hurt worse than the rewind. This is, you know, she was right in one thing, with, well, not right, but close to right, when she was saying, how many people does she help? So far, only the only person really is like Kate. And again, she didn't even use her power to help Kate. She talked it down, you know, herself, you know. And to think this all started with my vision of a tornado. Uh, starting with a freak snowfall, an unprecedented eco apocalypse now, the end is near. Okay. Uh, starting with a freak snowfall, an unprecedented, unprecedented eclipse, dying birds, and now half a dozen beaches. Uh, beached whales, Arcadia Bay strange weather is being studied by prominent state and national scientists, apparently including NASA. What's even more incredible than these eco-phenomena is the fact that not a single meteorologist has offered any actual theory or even reason for this atmospheric havoc. Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max? Yeah, that's... I like that before. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. As per our discussion about the new campus surveillance system, Ms. Grant has informed me that her petition was only one avenue of protest. Okay. When we in initiate this new era of Blackwell security, we must find a middle ground between safety and privacy for our students. Best Principal Wells. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. What is this? I didn't need a surveillance camera to see this suspension coming. Best of luck to you, Ms. Grant. Well. At least he has one weird fan. Dear Mr. Madsen, I just want to let you know that I think it's bullshit what happened to you when this school has too many libtard microsexuals who don't appreciate you or the military. <laughs> I felt safe in my dorm when you were in charge, and, and I thought about you protecting me. I hope you will come back to Blackwell and make sure we are all safe at night. I am scared of the school. Mm. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. From David Benson to Raymond Wells, I apologize for my outburst yesterday in your office. I was upset about losing my position at Blackwell without a complete investigation of the facts based solely on the claims of untrustworthy students. There is a cancer at Blackwell Academy, and without me, it will continue to spread. Sincerely, Madsen D. Why did he get suspended from school? For the cameras? Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Hmm. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? What's that Mr. Madsen, thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Best S. Prescott. Hmm. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. Yeah, he's out there armed. Uh, 
that's one of the automatics. It's going. He had three revolvers and three automatics. Yeah. Chloe has the revolver. He must have the automatic. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. Oh, well. I'm starting to feel really bad about this dude. Like, and if he just, you know. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. If he could just, you know, take some time, take a time out, man, and just. Chill a little bit, then come back and maybe talk, you know? There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Joyce, you know I'm not good at explaining myself or why I do the way I why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. That's true. He seems, you know, he seems like a very, you know, family is like everything to him, you know. Yes, I overstep bounds with the surveillance and suspicion, and I am truly sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things happening in Acadia Bay I have never told you. He does know something. He, knew he knows there's something going on. You are my wife and partner, and I know we would have no... We have no secrets. I intended we should have no secrets. I intended to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof. Oh man, that's the same thing we said to Kate. Instead, a student almost committed suicide on my watch. You kicked me out of my favorite home and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me... Oh, okay. I really feel sort of like shit, to be honest with you. I'm going back home, you know. I mean, like, just take a break, I you know. If David is going to the party. Doubt it. Well, maybe, well, actually, maybe he might be there. I promise so. I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. Oh, we already saw that. Okay. What's the map? Surveillance cameras oh, at okay. Penn State? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. So, there's all food here. He's not one of these, like, survivalists, too, is he? Like... Well... It's not. Oh! Look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. What? Is there, is there eggs his there? This plank is good for nest protection, but bad for a nest photo. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. Oh. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. <laughs> Put the plank back. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy wags. There you go. Well, well this whole egg, that means a whole bird comes in here and nests over there. <laughs> That's sort of cool. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? <laughs> I know this. I know this. I remember. 7 1. I remember from before. 7 1. I remember that. Is that right? Yes. Yes. I knew that number yes. was important. Totally remembered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. 
Francis. Whoa, Twin Peaks. He does. He, what is he? He does have a. Uh, was he in a surveillance team before, like in the army? Or is that what it was? In the Marines or whatever? He. He has a picture of what's the name beaten and what Nathan beaten on. Uh, Warren, why didn't he do something if he had a picture? Twilight Zone. <laughs> Does it say on. Oh, there's that thing that says Rachel owes me money pay up or something like that. Or Rachel better pay me or something. There's a picture of me too, huh? Score. Back to Chloe now. And you know what? I never saw it. I, I never actually saw a lock like that. Used in like your own home, <laughs> you know? Like with a whole bar there. So, you know, like, like you have to. I think if you have a bar like that over his uh, gun cabinet or something, because you think that would be more important. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Oh, wait, can I go in that room? Yo, Chloe! Oh. Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel, plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. That scared the shit out of me. You know when she come, when she was yelling that, I suddenly thought she was gonna come down the stairs. I thought she was gonna come down the stairs as a little kid. Like back, like, not a little kid, but like 13 year old or whatever. This is definitely Kate's floor. And now we were like stuck back happened. in time again. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, uh. Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Hmm. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm on it. Okay. Let's, oh. I was trying to push the button to uh, open the door. Well, she looks happier. Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate. Listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawing. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while, but 
I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm really? working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Okay. <laughs> the clock is actually moving. What are we looking at first here? Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Okay, let's look at these drawings. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flop. <laughs> okay. Get I well. don't think get well is quite apropos. No. Can't get too many balloons. I'd say, uh, I'm glad you didn't jump off the roof. <laughs> Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. Hmm. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that picture on the wall there. Is that that mustard dude that, that what's the name had on that shirt before? Dog, guy, man, or something? No, I don't know. <laughs> oh, what's it? Yeah, what's the post? No, I'm gonna look at the postcards. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. Really? But not Nathan. Of course not. Alyssa, Zach, Daniel, Max, Luke, Warren, Hayden, Justin, Stella. Evan, Victoria, Trevor, Rory, Rory. Oh. Oh. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. I know you hate me and you should, but I only want to see you smile again. Please let me know if you need anything. Victoria, really? It's actually really surprising to me. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I saw oh. Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be, uh, not nice. <laughs> but I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but... I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? She's she's totally insecure about it. She's like that's that's exactly it. She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself. You don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. Stop about Nathan. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. Yeah. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? 
That, assuming the Vortex Club thing. I assume he'll show up at the <coughs> Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody yeah. can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. Oh, that's perfect. She could get the number? Okay, that's great. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. <laughs> and you could bring Lauren along, too. Uh, no. No. Just the no two of us. Allowed. <laughs> you are funny, Max. And right. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Oh, Tell my Alice bunny. I'll see her soon. Oh my god, does that mean I have to go back and like feed her bunny? I didn't. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. Did I not feed the like do I have to feed the bunny or else it's gonna die? Cause I didn't I didn't feed it. I don't remember feeding that bunny. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. <coughs> Thank God. Excuse me. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. I would really like to see if the bunny's <laughs> dead <laughs> or not. I want to make sure I feed it. I'm afraid it's going to be like a plant and it's going to say it's dead or something. Mr. Jefferson, <coughs> okay. Um, Excuse me. And this is my friend Chloe. Yo. Chloe, why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too mm -hmm. cool for the school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus, like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just... Get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, <laughs> you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Oh. Hot poor teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so <laughs> ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. That's actually sort of funny. See if I can find out where Nathan is. The Prescott dormitory. I remember that. Okay. Is this the... The door... The boys dorm. Okay, alright. It's getting on 30 minutes. I'm going to, uh... Oh, the dormitories are over here. I'm going to, uh... Talk to this guy first, and then... Poor Daniel. Looks like he needs a hug. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. 
Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm huh? a wannabe artist. Yeah, but he has great drawings. That's my day. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Going to the end of the world party? Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People <laughs> here push me in the lockers, not dance floors. Go. Oh. That's exactly why you should go to that party. Yeah. We have to stand up to these black world bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Yeah. Okay, maybe I won't go, but. No, I won't do that, but I'll go. <laughs> what about no, what about Nathan? Have you seen him around? Have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, but like he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Oh good, he's gone. Okay. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she needs. The most important thing is that Kate gets better. And gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes. But don't fuck with Kate. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. <laughs> Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Wait, does that mean... Wait. Thanks again for making me feel better and pushing me to the party. Let's chat later, Max. Okay. Now, Chloe, way too much shit going on, man. Try going to Blackwell. Insane. So I hear. Any word at all on Rachel? Dude, I wish. I'm working on it. And I miss her laugh when I bail off my board. She was probably high. Yeah, she had the sick nug. True that. Okay, I have Chloe to fits in so easy with Justin. Okay, sorry to break it up, but I gotta talk. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you could have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Oh, stop. <laughs> now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. Okay. Alright, this is where I'll break it here. Okay. Well, what's that? Oh. It's so lame they don't have colored dorms here. Yes, because oh. I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Okay. Let me, uh... I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna continue right off, so... And we'll get to that message in a second. So just uh, hold on and I'll be right back. <laughs> 